Good afternoon. My name is Lucy Aquino. I am the Chief Executive Officer of Hispano Care Inc., a program of Advocate Illinois Masonic Medical Center. And today, for the next 25 minutes, we're going to be talking to you about the Affordable Care Act, ACA. What you should know. How do you enroll? We invite you with your questions by calling us at 312 area code 738 1060, the numbers at the bottom of your screen. Joining me today is Daniel Maldonado, Community Relations Specialist of Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Illinois. Allow me to welcome you to the show, Danny. Well, thank you, Lucy. Thank, thank you. you for having thank me. Thank you for coming out. Now, we know that we've been trying to talk a little bit about uh, ongoingly for the last few months about ACA, the Affordable Care Act. And we know a lot of things have taken into place. We know that there are new health care laws that, that have now already taken place. Mm -hmm. And people have enrolled. Others haven't been able to. We know there's a, so problems and issues and glitches. Uh, and even though Blue Cross is in the marketplace. But today we're going to talk about overall. Uh, not just Blue Cross, but Humana. And everybody else who's involved in the marketplace as well as what people are hitting on with Obamacare. So, Danny... What is the new health care law? Let, let's talk a little bit about that because even though it's been talked about a lot, I don't think that people are really getting it, uh, at least not to the extent where they should. So I want to make it as easy as possible for our viewers who are watching to explain to them the easiest way possible what is the law. Sure, and absolutely, yeah. And, and I'm going to go through some of the key points of what the law entails. Um, basically, with the Affordable Care Act, there's a new health care law. What it is, it's, it was designed for those folks under 65 that do not have health insurance. Um, and, and what puts the Affordable in the Affordable Care Act is that these folks, depending on their income, may qualify for some kind of a tax credit or subsidy, depending on their income, size of family, to help them pay for the health insurance. Um, and those those particular persons are going to have options to pick, you know, you know different insurance uh uh, policies, different insurance coverage through different insurance companies that are Affordable Care Act compliant. Mm -hmm. So those folks will have a lot of options. Another one of the major points of the Affordable Care Act is no more pre-existing conditions. Mm -hmm. All these, all these insurance, all these insurance companies will not be looking at pre-existing conditions anymore. Um, the other thing is to no no annual limits on the, uh, on the insurance on insurance coverage either. And, and and one of the other one of the other key points too is that all these plans are going to include ten essential health benefits. So, yeah, that, that's, that's basically it. Just to summarize it real, real quick and just to, you know, just some of the key points of, right. of the law. And then, of course, you also have the uh, prescription cards as well with uh, Medicare Part D, correct? Well, Medicare Part D, uh, th that, uh, and, and, and just to clarify, Medicare does continue to be something completely separate of the Affordable Care Act. Uh, Medicare will be on its own. So mm -hmm. a supplemental, I know we get a lot of questions, too, from some of our seniors where, they're wondering, okay, can how about a right. supplemental plan on the marketplace? Well, no, that's not the case. Right. Me Medicare is completely separate. Supplemental plans could still continue to be something separate. However, um, due to the new law, they're they're actually enhancing some of the Medicare benefits. They're actually looking to uh, close out that donut hole, that infamous donut hole by the year eliminate 2020. It. Eliminate, right. eliminate it, exactly. it altogether, right? Yep. So that's one of the many things that they're doing to enhance Medicare due to the new law, but it continues to be something separate. All right. But that's good to know. I mean, mm -hmm. our, our seniors who have that Medicare Part D and that donut hole has always been an issue and Absolutely. a confusing one at that. Yes. Do I buy a supplementary? Don't I buy a supplementary? Mm -hmm. How do I really understand how that works? So I'm, I'm one very happy that they're actually getting rid of that donut hole. And you're saying that by 2020 that should be gone. Exactly. Oh, that's yes. fantastic. Now, you also mentioned, obviously, again, let's talk about the pre-existing conditions. In the past, insurance companies would not enroll you or you cannot get coverage for those pre-existing conditions that you had. Correct. Well, now that is completely gone. Yep. All gone. So it doesn't matter anymore. You will be covered. Exactly. Caps. No more caps? Exactly. No more annual caps. No more annual limits on, on, on the insurance coverage. That's correct. Can you give us an example of that, Danny? When we say there's a cap on your insurance, what does that mean? Well, just, just, cap just, throw out an, just throw out an example out there, just in general. Let, mm -hmm. let's, say, let's say prior to the Affordable Care Act, um, let's say you had an insurance coverage for a particular company that only gave you a million-dollar limit for the year. And let's say you, you let's say that you have some kind of illness. It may mm -hmm. be possible you go through the, through that million dollars halfway through the right. year. But what happened in that in that instant is that guess what? Anything outside of that was coming out of your pocket. Right. Or if you went and tried to enroll in another insurance plan, they're going to deny you because of your pre-existing condition. Right. 
Well, that's no longer the case. One pre-existing conditions are out and there are no annual limits. So if they go over that million dollars, again, there's no annual limit. It could be two million. I mean, it, it's covered. It's covered. It's covered. Yeah, it's covered. It's covered. Yeah. Good to know, Danny. Mm -hmm. So so the new law, the new health care law, how does it help me? I mean, we talked about what the changes have taken mm -hmm. place, but how does that law help me? Um, in particular, this new law is actually going to help out everyone. And, and for example, because basically all insurance, all insurance coverage plans, all insurance plans have to be Affordable Care Act compliant. Whether mm -hmm. or not you go through and get a tax subsidy, a tax credit, it, that doesn't matter. So all these new insurance plans are going to help out everyone because they all have to include those 10 essential health benefits. And just to, and, and, and previous to this, there were there was actually a lot of plans out there, mm -hmm. just an example, that didn't include maternal care. Right. Now all plans going forward have to include maternal care. Uh, just one example. Right. Um, the other thing is, too, they're, they're, they're actually, uh, again, no more pre-existing conditions, no health, no health questionnaires. The only thing that insurance companies really want to know is your age, uh, size of family, right. individual size of family, whether or not you smoke, mm -hmm. um, and the regional cost factor, because believe it or not, I mean, it does matter. It is more expensive in, in the urban area than a rural area for care. Right. So, so, so they're looking at regional cost factor, but that's it. That's all right. they're looking at. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. So if, if I cannot afford health insurance, what if I can't afford it? What options do I have? The uh, and, and actually, uh, when the law got, got instated, the federal government gave the option to states to uh, expand Medicaid. State of Illinois did that. Um, they actually expanded it up to 133% of federal poverty level, which for an individual, if an individual makes less than $16,000 a year, mm -hmm. they, can, they, can, uh, they can qualify for, the, for, for Medicaid. Um, and also men can enroll for Medicaid now. That's another thing as well. That's and, new. That's that yes, wasn't the case before. Exactly. It was. Right. It used to be just women and children. Right. right. And and the other thing is too. Let's just say you're making eighteen thousand a year, and, and you fall between that sixteen thousand dollar a year and about a little under forty seven thousand dollars a year. Those folks can get that tax subsidy. They can get that mm -hmm. tax credit. And again, it's income driven. So the less you make, the the the, the higher the credit. Right. And and obviously, the bigger the family, the higher the higher that tax credit subsidy can be as well. So, um, yeah, so it varies on a, on a case per case basis, size of family, so forth. But, I mean, there's, there's a lot of options out there, there, there you know, for people to get help. Right. So the good thing is, is, is that individuals who before were not able to be covered mm -hmm. or unable to obtain Medicaid, either due to a, a cap on what their earnings are or the poverty rate, they are now may be eligible, exactly. whereas before they were not. Exactly. That's correct. And and another point is too there they're 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 really looking at the uh the adjusted gross income of right. people. They're they're looking at, at income as far as monthly income from, you know, work, social security or or, or uh you know, any, any um any pension benefits so forth. That's 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 really what mm -hmm. they're looking at. They're not looking at assets or anything like that. I wanna remind our viewers today that I have with me Daniel Maldonado, community specialist, Blue Cross and Blue Shield. We're talking about the Affordable Care Act. Things you should know and what you need to do in order to get covered. It is available to those individuals who before may have not been covered, but now can. We are taking your questions. You can call us at 773-738-1060. The number's at the bottom of your screen. So Danny, if I don't qualify, or if individuals don't qualify for government programs, but still can't afford insurance, then what? If they can't afford, and, and, and they don't qualify, for example, for say a Medicaid or, mm -hmm. well, and, and, and this is what I think you referred to as a tax credit. You, I mean, you, you briefly touched on it, but is that the tax credit then? Yeah, and, and, and basically it works out this way. You know, for, for just to keep it simple, so for an individual making less than 16000 they, they they will. Fortunately, the state of Illinois did expand Medicaid. There are some states that didn't. Mm -hmm. um, and just to give you an example, you know, in those states, if they, if they would have fell between, you know, in that gap, Right. There, there was really not much there for them, but fortunately, the state of Illinois, yeah, if they fall 16 and under, they they can apply for the Medicaid. Right. Between 16 and 48, then then they right. can uh, they can go ahead and uh, apply for that subsidy. Right. For for one person, obviously that goes up, you know, depending right. on size of family. Mm -hmm. Um, the other thing is too, uh, as as with the Affordable Care Act, the the government did invest a lot more too in in a lot of these uh, community clinics, these sliding scale fee clinics. Right. They, they, they are investing money into that and into into some of these. Uh, so when you mentioned some of the clinics, for example, yeah. we're talking about Aunt Martha's, yeah, Erie exactly. Health, yeah. some of those 
yeah. that we know in the community. Mm -hmm. okay. Exactly. Yeah, they're they're giving them monies to expand their services too, as well, like they're to to be able to provide dental services so the and federally prescription. qualified health centers exactly. is what we're talking about. That's exactly yeah. right. So, Danny, what's happening this year in 2014? I mean, there was a lot of things happening last year with enrollment. We we everyone heard about the glitches. Uh -huh. People couldn't get on. Um, or if they got on and paperwork not being received, I mean, mm -hmm. what's happening in 2014? What, what are some of the new changes and what's good about it? What's good about <laughs> it? Well, there's a lot of positive things and, and absolutely. And, and, and as you know, beginning and it began January 1st, 2014, this, this all came into effect. Um, open enrollment started back in October and I'm sure everyone saw there, there was some stuff, some issues going on the first couple of months. Recently, it's been you know it's been a lot better. It's definitely mm -hmm. been a lot better. The the, the healthcare.gov website is, is is functioning. You know it's functioning a lot smoother. We actually just enrolled someone today at an event, and it took about 30, 40 minutes. It went wow. great. Um, it it's, seems it's, it's a lot faster than yes. from what I was hearing people no, were saying. Right. Yeah, and and it's a very easy process. Right. It doesn't take long at all. Um, you know they they're, they're really just going to ask folks for their um, you know, for their basic information, um, social security number, where mm -hmm. they live, mm -hmm. um, income, where they work. And, and then, it, you know, it, it, it all gets input into the system mm -hmm. real time. And, and, and if all goes well, you, they'll actually have an answer right away. You know, right. they'll get the, their, their determination of, right. of how much they're going to get as far as the subsidy goes. Mm -hmm. Then they, then they get, then they, then they're able to pick a plan. Right. Then they're able to shop right. for a plan that best fits their, their medical needs and their budget. Um, you know, and 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 just to inform those folks out there, they're actually classifying the plans uh, in in four different levels. They have mm -hmm. bronze plans, silver plans, gold plans, platinum plans. Mm -hmm. Obviously, bronze is the least expensive plan, being the most mm -hmm. expensive. Mm -hmm. And with each within each one of those levels, folks can actually uh, choose HMO, a PPO, mm -hmm. choose a deductible. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of options out there for them. Well, so. that's wonderful. So that, then again, what we're saying is that everyone in the U.S. will be required to have health insurance, which started January 1st of 2014. That's correct. Um, and that's what the goal is, right? Yep. And that's, you know, starting this year, yeah, they, they have to have health insurance. Um, folks have until March 31st to enroll. Mm -hmm. um, yep. So the 31st of March is the cutoff. Correct. And after the 31st, if you have not enrolled, what will happen? If you have not enrolled, um, if you have not enrolled, you, 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 if after March 31st, the only way that the only way that you can enroll is is during a special enrollment period. Mm -hmm. Like for example, um, those people that you know get married or have a child mm -hmm. or adopt or move out of state or lose a job, they can still apply for that tax credit and get help that way. However, if you don't meet that cutoff, mm -hmm. you know, yeah, you're out of open enrollment. Right. You know, unless something, unless one of those circumstances present themselves, right. then you can go ahead and get that. Um, the first year for one person is ninety five dollars for the, you know, for the so penalty. So that's the penalty. Yes, okay. or one percent of the income, the, mm -hmm. on, whichever and, is greater. Whichever is greater. Mm -hmm. okay. And then each year it's going to get adjusted, and then and then I believe in uh, I think it's twenty sixteen or so they're going to start adjusting it with the cost of living okay. adjustments. You know, okay. so yeah, but yeah, if you folks have until March thirty first, so about little about six seven weeks left. Right. So Yeah. So obviously, if you have not looked into enrolling into the a health plan with the marketplace, so many options out there, so many different options for those who can afford to buy their health insurance, for those who need help. There are those tax credits in addition to that. For those who don't meet the poverty or under poverty level, there is also help there too with Medicaid and the expansion here in Illinois. So with that, when an individuals, I know that there are all kinds of informational programs going on throughout mm -hmm. community, throughout communities-based uh, organizations. A lot of people are hosting these types of programs. Yes. Uh, Blue Cross is involved. Humana, everyone else is out there. You can go to any of these individuals, any of these events, sit down, give them your information. They will look it up for you. They will help you determine whether or not you qualify, what you qualify for. What is it going to cost? What are your options? So these are all things that you can get this information from and without any obligation, exactly. right, Danny? Exactly. This is all informational. Exactly, yes. You know, yeah, we and and through my organization, Blue Cross Blue Shield, yeah, we hold these events and, you know, we help folks enroll. We, we're, we're, we, we try to educate them. But but there's, and like Lucy said, um, I mean, if you go out to your community, you, you can find there's uh, navigators out there that are mm -hmm. helping people enroll as well through, and you can find these at these federal health qualified centers, these, mm -hmm. these community right. clinics, you can find navigators there. Even hospitals. Yes, in hospitals, hospitals right. as well. Everyone's participating, right? Right, so, you know, there's, there's a lot of resources out there, and definitely people should, 
go ahead and seek those persons and ask them those questions because yeah, I mean, you know, it's the, the you know people have a lot of people have a lot of right. questions and 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 definitely just go out there and get informed. So Danny, if individuals who can't uh, go out, I mean, the weather is horrible. I know no one wants to be out there, but if they wanted to go online, where should they go? There's a lot of resources out there. Yeah, definitely. Uh, you do want to look up healthcare.gov. That's where you would go to set up your account mm -hmm. and 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 start answer, start the process of, of uh, you know filling you know doing the application online to get your tax subsidies. You can also just Google you know uh, Affordable Care Act. Mm -hmm. um, you know healthcare reform. Um, there's uh, tax cal there's subsidy calculators mm -hmm. out there where you can input your information just to get an idea mm -hmm. as to what kind of uh, what kind of help you can get. Um, you can Google that as well. If you go through our website to bcbsil.com, you know you, you can you can look up all those educational resources right. and uh, on healthcare reform as well. But there's a there's a wealth of information out there that you can that, that you can get. Right. Let me put this up, Danny, since you mentioned it. Uh, for toll-free numbers with Blue Cross and Blue Shield, you can call 1-888-809-2810, or you can visit www.bcbsil.com, which you can receive a lot of information from there directly uh, for the marketplace as a whole and through block, all the Blue Cross and Blue Shield information as well. Correct. Now, Danny, um, coverage options, we talked a little bit about that. We talked a little bit about where people can go to enroll and to get onto the plans. If we talked about the penalty, we know that it's $95 an individual with 1% of income, whichever is greater. Correct. Um, and these penalties, as you mentioned, will increase every year. And of course, this is not something I believe that they're going to bill you for. This is something that's actually taken out from a tax return. That's correct. That's correct, yeah. right? Yeah. Uh, so it's even if you don't enroll, you don't get the coverage. And if you are penalized, it will be taken out of your tax return. So it's not something you're going to get billed for. They'll automatically take it. So the initial enrollment ran from October 1st through March 31st, 2014, which is the deadline for people to enroll. Um, and will there also be special enrollment periods as well for life-changing events, as you mentioned earlier? Exactly. Can you mention that again? We went a little bit over that too quickly. Can you mention those life-changing events again? Exactly, yeah. You know, special enrollment periods are, are basically when, let's just say a person, you know, that someone gets married, has a child, adopts a child, loses a job. Um, loses coverage because they, they were getting employer coverage and mm -hmm. they lost their job. They move out of state. Um, those those are those are uh, you know life changing circumstances. Mm -hmm. So so yeah, and if that's the case, that's a special enrollment period. Mm -hmm. is considered a special enrollment period, and they can go ahead and still apply for this uh, this subsidy and get help and right. basically at any time throughout the year. Uh, another thing I want to mention too, since you mentioned mm -hmm. yeah, and just remind I, I just remembered. Um, open enrollment for 2015 will begin November 15th of 2014, running through January 15th of mm -hmm. 2015. So just okay. an FYI. So. so mark it on your calendar. So if you missed that enrollment period March 31st, um, and for whatever the reason, you've missed it, just mark on your calendar November. November 15th. November 15th mm -hmm. is the new open enrollment for the 2016th. 2015. 2015. Yes. That's for 2014. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> so I am rushing myself here. Um, Danny, I want to go over once again about some of the preventive services that are included with this new coverage. I think that's really important to Absolutely. know because so many things before were not covered, whereas now everything's covered. Correct. Practically. So can you mention again some of the preventive services that are included? And yes, this is one of the very important uh, um, one of the important points too with the with the new law. Right. All preventive services will be covered at 100% without copay or deductible. Right. And and what preventive means is is one great example is mammograms. Um, an another great example is definitely your your you know colonoscopies, bone density screenings. Mm -hmm. You know, you know, screenings like that and, you know, those procedures, because what they're really trying to focus on, too, with this new law is uh, wellness and prevention. Prevent, prevent, prevent. Yeah. And, and take care of ourselves. Exactly. So. Right. So, uh, but I'm really excited because this list is actually, it's pretty lengthy, uh, but not so lengthy where I, I do want to mention some of these. Blood pressure screenings, all of this is included in preventive services where you pay no copay, no deductibles. It will be covered. 
blood pressure checks, diabetes checks, cholesterol and depression screenings, mammograms and colorectal cancer screenings, counseling to help you quit smoking if you're a smoker, losing weight, deal with depression and reduce alcohol use. These are some of the things that are now being covered at 100%. Regular wall baby and wall, wall child visit, uh, visits up to the age of 21. Annual women's uh, visits, including pap smears, counseling, screenings with vaccines to ensure healthy pregnancies, routine vaccinations against diseases such as measles, chickenpox, and flu. These are all the things that will be covered now, whereas before they were not in many cases, but so many new benefits to this new coverage. Correct. Yep. Danny, if you had anything to say to our viewers um, that you wanted to add that and impress upon the importance of this and the options that are now available, whereas before they weren't, what is it that you would want to say to our viewers who are listening to this? One of, one of the one of the things that that, that uh, the most important thing that I can tell the viewers is definitely just go out there and get informed. You, you know, definitely get informed about the about the new about the new law. And, and you'd be surprised, there's so many different options for folks out there that didn't have options before. Now you're gonna have quite possibly multiple options to pick from and choose and, and you know, get that coverage. And, but that's the main thing, it's mm -hmm. just, just get informed and, and, and just go ahead and check and see what, what, what kind of assistance you qualify for right. and use those resources out there, absolutely. Very that's important. the main thing that I just get informed, get informed. Well, I do want to remind our viewers that if you have questions regarding the marketplace or regarding where to go to enroll, you're not sure where to go, uh, or you just need help uh, locating a place to go, feel free to give us a call at Hispano Care uh, Program of Advocate, Illinois Masonic Medical Center at 773-296-7157. Again, that number is 773-296-7197. Um, I do want to take a minute though, Danny, because I'm just going to go away for a little bit and just change Absolutely. the topic here for a quick, for a quick, um, quick moment, and then we can sign off because time here goes by so yeah, fast. <laughs> so I, I do want to invite our viewers for those individuals living with rheumatoid arthritis, uh, the autoimmune disease affecting more than two million people in the United States. After four decades on the decline, rheumatoid arthritis is on the upswing among older women in the United States. We are presenting a program at Illinois Masonic Medical Center at 836 West Wellington, Wednesday, March the 19th. Registration starts at 930. This is an English presentation. Please join us. For those of you who would like to join us, you can call to register and you can call 1-800-3-ADVOCATE, that's 1-800-323-8622, or you can reach us at Hispano Care at 773-296-7157, and please mention code 9S13. Again, 296-7157, code 9S13, or you can call 1-800-323-8622, with advocate and these are one of the things that we want to make sure we got information out to the community it's it's just unbelievable how it was on a decline and now it's on an increase living with rheumatoid arthritis please join us so danny i want to thank you as always for coming thank out you, and Lisa. sharing such wonderful information for our viewers it's just so much that's out there um take advantage there's Absolutely. there's a lot of things now that you were unable to do before there is that coverage now that's so needed, so necessary, and it is about preventing, preventing, preventing. Right. Thank you, Danny. Thank, Thank you, Blue you, Cross, Lisa. for joining us today and sharing this wonderful information. So stay tuned, and until we see you next time, a lot of more information coming your way. Until the next time, take care.